Could you have ever imagined that you would one day become England's most capped rugby player? Never in a million years, honestly. I, I think it's, I just wanted one cap. I just wanted to play for England, and I loved it so much. You know, I've kept hanging on and kept persevering, and it's like an addiction. I, like the pride that it is to to play for your country, the flame inside me is still burning so strong. Scrum, really well formed. It's Hunter at the back. Hunter controlling, Hunter, deft with the feet, Hunter, there it is for the captain. What a tense test this is going to be of this English defence. That ball has been lost out. Right in front England survive, Roland gets it away. Have a look at number 20, this is Sarah Hunter, it's not just the tackle but it's the choice of tackle, sends her opposite number backwards and rips the ball. That is a huge moment with eight yep. minutes to go. McDonald went over now, she'd be on for a hat-trick. Hunter. England looking to drive their way over. For try number six, they're up the line. They're over. Have they got it down? Yes, they have. After her neck injury, but here she is in the World Cup. And England now with Sarah Hunter. Good strike for Cocaine. And off the back of Sarah Hunter, the captain. Tackled by two French players. Quinn's there with a the put in. It's a very solid English scrum being controlled at the base there by the captain Sarah Hunter. Just creeping their way towards the Irish line. And you can see here Hunter's trying to take it all the way up to the try line. And it is the captain who gets the score. The 29th test try. That's incredible. The danger's not over. There are many players. On that far side for the Blackburns, they just need to get that ball out. England, have they turned it over? McLean, nice of the pass again. Hunter getting over the gain line. Controlled at the base there by the captain, Sarah Hunter. Just creeping their way towards the Irish line. And you can see here, Hunter trying to take it all the way up to the try line. And it is the captain who gets the score. Hunter. With the trademark break from the back. Into the hands of Arigetti. Returning to the side, having missed the Six Nations matches in the autumn. Barrington wants them to keep going forwards, trying to show the picture to the referee that they're going forward. Sarah Hunter asked the question if she's in a position to try and hold this up. And is this the England captain trying to turn over possession for the Red Roses single handedly? The Italian pack are trying to get it to ground and get the ball back. I think it may have come back on the Red Roses' side, and that is sensational from Hunter. There's a master class in the art of scrummaging, and Dyer says enough is up, and I've gone straight down the throat of Katie McLean. Mark Davis to Old Croft this time. Mark Davis joins the fray, Hannah Bottom and wants a piece of it. They're rumbling over the line, England, and they're there. Rolling ball that led to the penalty try. And after the, uh, the rain and showers of the first half in Dublin, we've got bright sunshine picked up by Sarah Hunter. Another penalty advantage coming England's way. They want to finish in style. And the captain is happy to oblige. Hunter's rugby career is over. Kingston Park rises, English rugby rises, the whole rugby family rises to recognise one of the greats. 16 years, 141 caps. Sarah Hunter, thank you.